St Thomas a Becket Church stands out as the central feature of our beautiful North Cotswold village of Tottenham. Its steeple can be seen for miles around, and it has been a place of worship since the mid-12th century. The first mention of a church building dates from 1157, when the Pope confirmed it as belonging to Westminster Abbey. It was dedicated to St Thomas of Canterbury, who was canonised in 1173, and over the years the village and church have been associated with a number of notable people and events. In 1404, Thomas Merks, Bishop of Carlisle, came to Todden as rector. Merks had been deprived of his see by Henry IV for his staunch support of Richard II. And Shakespeare, in the play Richard II, has Henry say of him, Choose out some secret place, some revered room, and with it joy thy life. Evidently, Todden fitted the bill, and there is a tradition that on his death in 1409, the bishop was buried in Todden churchyard. Another distinguished rector was Robert Wickens, whose Concordance of the Bible was published in 1654. A Lord of the Manor was the Tudor Secretary of State, William Petrie, tutor to George Boleyn and survivor of four reigns. He was noted for having done great service in suppressing religious foundations. In 1783 the church and manor passed into the hands of the Van Notten Pole family, where it remained until in 1951 the estate was divided and sold off. The earliest parts of the present building are late 12th century, but the church that we see today is very different to that one. The nave and chancel with north and south transepts were added in the 14th century, the south porch, tower, spire and north aisle a little later. The north chapel was added, and then in 1713 the church was equipped with a ring of six bells, cast by Abraham Ruttall of Gloucester. The beautiful stained glass window was added in 1879, when there were also new pews. And even in those days the work depended on the generosity of local people and charities. And of course the work of keeping the church building in good order never stops. Just in the last ten years the wall by the Lich Gate has been repaired, a hole in the roof fixed, the copy of the beautiful painting Ecchi Homo by the 17th century Italian artist Guido Reni has been restored, new notice boards set up, and a new path up to the church has been built. All this has been done through the generous donations of local people, often coordinated by the friends of St Thomas of Becket. But as with all old buildings, there will be more to be done, so we're immensely grateful for all the help given by the friends. We very much hope that you will continue to be a friend, and that we will be able to hand on to the next generation a building that continues to stand proud and is in good repair. You may have noticed above the door of the vestry, there is a 17th century brass to William Moulton and his wife Millicent, with a quaint rhymed epitaph. It begins with these wonderful words. Stay, passenger, this tomb doth hold a coffin full of holy mould. Our hope and prayer is that St Thomas and Becket never becomes holy mould. <laughs>